So as always, I already did my eyebrows and I'm going to be priming my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base. And this is just in the tannish color. So the first palette I'm going to be going into is the Subculture Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be using the color First Dawn as my transition shade. So for this halo eye, I took a couple different shades of green and blended them into my inner and outer corner. I started with a lighter shade and moved to a darker emerald. So for the lightest shade, I'm going to be going in with Destiny from the Subculture Palette and just using a fluffy brush to blend that in my inner and outer corner. Next, on this small tapered brush, I'm going to be sticking with the Subculture Palette and going in to the color Untamed. It looks a little bit more turquoise on camera, but in person it's got more green tones to it. Now on this same brush, I'm going to be using the NYX Single Eyeshadow in the color Beyond Nude. Beyond Nude. That seems like a silly name for this color, but it's a green. <laughs> now I'm going to use this angled fluffy brush. Oh, excuse that. This is really good to get into those tight corners like the inner and outer crease. And with that, I'm going to be taking the color Night Porter by NARS. It's this beautiful shimmery emerald color. Now to work on filling in this middle gap, I'm first going to be starting by applying the Too Faced Glitter Glue on this little tiny brush. Okay, now that that is on, I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette, which I don't use too often, but I definitely should. It's really pretty. And I'm going to be using the color Lithium. This pretty gold color, but not too gold. It's more like a light gold. Guys, notice my Christmas decorations in the background? can't really see, but I hung, some, I hung some garland for you guys and little ornaments. Cute. Okay, and over that gold color to make it pop more, I'm going to be using the Stila, the Magnificent Metals uh, Liquid Eyeshadow. And this one is in the color Smoky Storm. Just like that. Okay, now that the eyeshadow is complete, it was honestly super easy. I'm going to be applying some winged eyeliner, and this is the Kat Von D ink liner in the black color. Okay, and now for lashes. I know these are the Huda Beauty lashes, but I forget what style they're in because I lost the original packaging, but... They just look like that. And obviously I always cut the inside a little bit. That way it fits better to my eye. So I'm just going to be applying these. Okay, as soon as you guys out, I'm going to be doing my face routine. I'm not going to go through this step by step though because I have um, a video on my full coverage foundation routine. I will link that below if you guys want to watch it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you what I'm doing but I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to speed right through.
Okay, and I don't like to go too dark underneath my eyes, so I'm only going to take the color Destiny, that lightest green color that we use, and just run that underneath my lash line very lightly. And now to completely finish the eyes, I'm going to be applying mascara. This is just the Benefit Roller Lash as usual. Now I'm going to be bronzing with my new favorite bronzer, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bikini Contest. Just like that. I'm going to be using the broken one, but this one's just to show. For the blush and highlighter, I'm going to be going into the uh, Jaclyn Hill, oh, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. And for my blush, I'll be using the middle blush color. This is called Amaretto, Amaretto, whatever. And for highlighter, I'll be using the color. Which one is it? I think Prosecco Pop, the more gold one. Okay, and last but not least for lips, I'm first going to line them with the NYX lip liner in the color Mauve. Okay, and for lipstick, I will be using the, it's the Maybelline lipstick, but I don't really know what kind it is, but it's matte and it's in the color Rich Ruby. Looks like that. And my best friend, one of my best friends, Maddie, got this for me, so I think it was for Secret Santa one year, so if you're watching this, Maddie, thank you. Okay, so that completes my super festive, gorgeous holiday look for this year. I really love how it turned out. Um, and it was like super easy, honestly, only a few colors. It's very doable. So I hope you try it out for this year's like holiday parties or Christmas dinners, whatever you're going to. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more tutorials. Go check out my other videos. Make sure you check out my foundation routine um, if you want to see how I did it step by step in this video. And yeah, I think that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!